Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and good day. Uh, today I will show you guys how you guys can uh, start your lab one. Alright, so this is going to be your guidance. Uh, I just going to show you guys the basic steps, but then you have to follow your lab one instructions and complete it. Okay, alright, so whenever you open your uh, quarter software, you will get. Uh, for this example I'm using quarters 13.0 right? ok so uh, whenever you uh, click on your quarters I mean like you start your quarters I mean there's gonna be a starting menu that gonna pop pop out here right? so you can select to choose create a new project here right? So, but if you don't want I mean you can just close it Okay, then you can also have uh, create a new project option here new project just click on the new project visit then you're gonna get the same window so the same goes as you click at the beginning of the your uh, quarters uh, starting point and uh, then you're gonna get the same window here all right so you're gonna get new project visit window so for here you just click next all right and in this case you have to specify which directory that you guys gonna be working on Alright, so I suggest you guys uh, do your project on your C drive. Alright, so this is gonna be uh, making your life easier later because you don't, you're not gonna have any uh, problem with the access. Alright, so in this case, I'm gonna select. Uh, just create a new folder here. Okay. so you can give whatever name which uh, you want but make sure you don't start it with number alright so you have to start it with uh, any character uh, except numbers or symbols ok so in this case like one ok then the name is the project should be the same for your schematic or your main file name right i'm going to show you guys later what i mean by that okay so in this case i'm just going to create a lab one and then next okay so in this case we don't have any preliminary file that we're going to use so just click next all right so in this part here is where you guys going to choose the type of uh, fpga chip that you're going to use right normally if you for example if you are using de2 board right so you can download the user manual and then or if you have the board I mean for example here you can go and look on chip here so you see there's a written Altera over there Cyclone 2 so this is the type of the FPGA that we're gonna use but there's a detail here a small character in detail here where specify which version of chip that you guys need to use alright so in this example Right, so in this example we are using uh, cyclone 2 so you just go and choose cyclone 2 and then you guys can see the here the name here so so altera cyclone 2c35 right so this is the main family of the uh, chip that we are going to use so ep2c35 or you can just type here ep to C35. Right, so you can see that there, 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 are, there are few varieties of EP2C35 families. So uh, if you want to be specific, you have to go and refer to the board, right? So but in this case you just pick the first one. Alright, so you just click next. So here you don't have to change anything, just click next. Alright, then finish. Okay. So now we done setting up our project, alright. So there's nothing yet in here, but I mean we have our project uh, folder and everything ready. So the first step in this case, we are gonna use this uh, block diagram or schematic file, right? So you can I mean how to add new file? Just click here, or you can click file new, right? Or you can just click the symbol here right new and then go to block diagram schematic file and then click ok then you gotta get something like this all right 
then okay so uh, the first step is we have to choose the components that we want to use right so in this case you just click there's a symbol uh, end gate symbol there so you just click and then uh, there's a new window gonna pop up right so we have to find uh, the chip or oh, sorry the gates that we want to use here so in the example you have to use a few gates right so but in this uh, example that i want to show to you guys i'm just going to use one uh what do you call it one gate right so logic so you can see there, there are many types of gate n2 n3 right so this i think this is the uh you can see the symbol here so n3 there's a three input uh to the end gate or n12 so there's a 12th input to the end gate right so but in this case we just use the basic one so we want to have two inputs to the end gate right so just click ok then we add it right so as you can see you can add i mean as as much as you want right here but we don't want to use a multiple end gate so you just need to use one so just delete it just click it and you can press delete to remove it right okay then we have to add input right so in this case we need to have two inputs right just make it uh, align properly so that it's easy for us to connect the wire all right make sure it's it doesn't overlap all right so just put it uh, side by side like that okay we have two inputs right now then we have to choose one output all right now we have one output all right okay the next step is to connect right so right now i mean the input and the end gate uh, they are not connected so you know just move the cursor up until you see the cursor change into like a uh, add symbol so just click there click and hold it so until you see you know, there's a box coming out on the end gate uh, connection right so just release it then we are sure that it is connected all right so repeat the same step right so until there's a box coming up then just release it so click here and the box come up okay then release it all right okay so uh, after we have everything ready next step is that uh, we we can just rename the input and output pin so to make it uh, you know look better as what you want it to be so just name it as input one you can give whatever name that you want so by the same uh, uh, rules you have to follow that we cannot start it with number of symbol right so input two and then here just give the name as output okay now we are ready uh, to simulate our circuit so we just save it so uh, make sure the name here follow your project not your project folder your project name right so in this case we just, i mean i name it as lab one so we just use lab one so save make sure add file to project uh, tick is there all right so we just save one okay now we have saved it and the next step is to compile so we compile when you can see uh, the compilation is starting see there's a progress here on the left side here so you can see uh, 92% on the analysis, analysis and synthesis and after they completed this part then you're going to start uh, another step at right, the feature place and route so we have to wait until everything is completed okay so uh, whenever the compilation process has completed so you can see there's a green tick on the left side here all right and then make sure there's no error so here is zero error three warning warnings okay you just can neglect it for now right okay then uh, the next step is okay okay so the next step is to create uh, a new file so same step here click a uh, new file symbol here and then now we have to find the verification so university program vector wave form all right so just click ok okay whenever you open the uh, vwf file right so you'll get a uh, 
window like this okay so after this so your next step is click on this part here and then go click insert node or bus right then uh, go and click node finder okay so in this case you just click list right so here you can see our inputs and our output so i mean like you can add one by one like this right but to make your life easy you just can click on this button so we're gonna add everything to the selected nodes so whenever you've done this step so you just click ok and then ok again alright so now you can see uh, our input 1 input 2 output is already on this window on the left side alright so now we want to try all the possibilities right so we have two inputs so we have four possibilities 0 0 0 1 and also uh, 1 0 and 1 1 right, so 0 0 and then we can go here just click force high 0 1 and then we can click here so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and then here 1 1 alright ok so I mean this is uh, we're going to simulate all these conditions and see how the output uh, looks looks like so anyway we're done so we can choose here run functional or timing simulation so for now we just go with the run run functional simulation let's just click and then they're gonna ask us to save the file first so just save it okay so we just click uh, run functional simulation Right, then we're gonna see uh, this uh, simulation flow uh, window gonna come out. All right, so I got this error here. Okay. If you guys are getting the same error, so what we have to do is that we have to go to options. So we just change to quarters to simulator. Alright, just click OK and try again. Run functional simulation. Okay, now new window going to pop out. Okay, this is just read only because it's showing us the result. So we are running the uh, simulation for end gate. So we know end gate whenever there's a zero input then the output gonna be zero. Right, so in this case zero zero of course the output gonna be zero. Zero one the output gonna be zero. One zero the output gonna be zero. Now one one the output gonna be one. So we we sure that our circuit works uh, correctly. Right. So done the simulation part. Now I'm gonna show you guys how we can create a symbol. Right. So. It's easy to create symbols, so you just go to file here and then you just click file and then uh, create create symbol file for current file. Alright, so you just name it as ng save it. Okay, now we have save it. Okay, so let's check if your symbols already exist in the database uh, just click here and then um, projects and the project let's see so this is your symbols so you can add it so, right. okay all right so i think that's all the guidance for lab one so i think after this you guys can go and try and you, if you have any question you can ask me later whether in the whatsapp group or we can have a discussion during the lab session all right thank you so much